The following tips are targeted to new players and players who struggle with PvP. These are the very basics of Tarkov PvP. For more advanced tips, check out my other video. Top 10 Advanced PvP Tips At face value, the benefits of tactical devices are pretty obvious. A laser points where your bullets will be landing and a flashlight will illuminate an area. However, there are game-changing hidden benefits. When hip-firing with these devices active, the recoil dispersion gets massively reduced. This applies to lasers, flashlights and a combination of both. Make sure to turn them on right before firing when pushing an area. For this I have my toggle bound to the lower mouse thumb button. Crouching will significantly reduce the recoil of your gun. This is especially useful when holding angles or fighting harder AI, like rogues or raiders. Combine this with an active tactical device to gain significantly increased precision. Although trivial, checking the fire mode of your weapon is critical. By default every full auto weapon is set to single fire mode. This can lead to frustrating deaths, especially when setting up a new kit for a raid and forgetting to switch fire mode. Make a regular habit of checking your fire mode. There are several ways to approach this habit. Check your weapon firing mode, then switch if needed. Alternatively, use the switch to full auto hotkey. I unbound the check fire mode hotkey. I just use switch to full auto to ensure I'm on full auto and switch fire mode if I want to go single fire. This is especially useful when using weapons with burst firing mode, like the Vector and the G36. You might switch from single fire to burst fire and die unexpectedly, thinking you are on full auto. The most basic PvP tip you'll hear from any experienced player is about right versus left hand peak. Simply put, right hand peak is superior to left hand peak due to the amount of your body that is exposed on each situation. With the right hand peak, you only need to expose your right arm in order to shoot a target right in front. With left hand peak, it is not possible to do that. This is a consequence of the weapon right shouldered angle. Peaking can be done by holding Q or E depending on the direction. This will make your character lean sideways up to a maximum amplitude. Sometimes you don't want to lean all the way out. For this, you use the smooth lean mechanic. Your PMC will remain leaned and will keep leaning as long as you keep tapping on the key. You can reduce the lean angle by tapping in the other direction. This smooth lean mechanic is also applicable to crouching. There are fixed positions for crouching, all the way crouched and all the way standing. Pressing C will alternate between them. However, you can fine-tune how low or high you crouch. By default it should be bound to C plus mouse wheel. The weight system is quite intense. The heavier you are, the slower you will move, and the faster your stamina will drain while running. Inertia complements this as well by adding an input delay, effectively working as variable acceleration and deceleration. When fighting, you want to be as light as possible to minimize the effects of this system. To do this, you can drop your backpack and your weapon. Dropping your backpack even has a bound key. The overhand nade throw will throw the nade forward, very far away, emphasizing strength. The underhand nade throw will gently throw the nade up, emphasizing precision. The underhand nade throw is especially useful for attacking enemies right next to you on the other side of the cover. Painkillers mitigate the effects of several detrimental status effects, like pain, fractures and blacked out limbs. A missing or fractured leg will prevent you from running. If this happens during a gunfight, you will most likely die if you don't have time to apply the painkiller. Anticipate the pain and use the painkiller before it is necessary in order to eliminate such vulnerability. Did I miss any important basic PvP trick? Do you think these tips are ideal for new players? Let me know in the comments. Check out the more advanced PvP tricks video if looking for better PvP performance.